Right. We're not drinking any whiskey today. At all. Well, during the video. Might have a small one afterwards. Small one. But the past couple of days I have been sitting down and trying my hardest to come up with some form of video series for the Christmas period. It is Christmas time. Hence, decorations. Anyone who watches the channel knows I'm all about value. So today, I'm going to give you five Irish whiskeys under 70 euro or $80 roughly, that's easily accessible to all, no matter where you are in the world, or should be relatively easily accessible. Let's do this. Welcome to Whiskey and Whiskey, I'm the Whiskey Chaser Brian here in Christie's Bar Kenny, and it's Christmas time, believe it or not. Decorations, I hope you're keeping merry. Christmas is a time for giving and also receiving, don't be nasty, who doesn't like to get a gift or two? But it's also a damn important time for treating yourself. Let's face it, it's been a long year. Maybe you've been through the mill. Few ups, few downs, lots of downs maybe, COVID type sounds, who knows? But it's a great time to treat yourself. And I have got just the thing. Any of these whiskeys I'm mentioning today, I've personally had, enjoy, and try to get them as often as I can when they run out. They are solid, rock solid. Quality, good value, everyday drinkers, in my mind anyway. Now, I may not have done a video on them yet, but I've had them. Also, make certain, absolutely certain, this is crucial that you're subscribed to the channel because my next video will be five Irish whiskeys that will stretch the pockets incredibly, but they're worth it. Also, if you're a partner, a loved one of a whiskey drinker, and if you're looking for an idea of a gift for that all important whiskey drinker in your life, get your notepad, write down a few bits and listen up. Without further ado, let's get into my top five Irish whiskeys under 70 euro or $80 you need to have for Christmas. Whiskey number one. You can ask any whiskey aficionado if this is worth its salt, and I guarantee you they will swear by it. A value, go-to, every day of the week type whiskey. Bushmills Black Bush. At Christmas time in Super Value Ireland, which is kind of a shopping center here, these go on sale for 26 euro. General price point is around a 33-ish euro. Value, get this. It's a 40% 40, 40 ABV blended whiskey, which has roughly an 80% malt to 20% grain ratio, matured for roughly seven years in predominantly Oloroso sherry, with some ex-bourbon barrels being used. This is classed as a non-age statement whiskey. I did read somewhere it used to be aged for about 11 years, um, which is some of the whiskeys in this were are apparently aged up to 18 years of age. If you like flavors of dried fruits, roasted nuts, and caramel toffees, it's quite woody and has more depth than a standard Bushmills blended whiskey, but it is a great, great whiskey for the price. Probably one of the best value Irish whiskeys in the world. Whiskey number two, McConnell's five-year-old blended Irish whiskey. This is a mix of grain and malt whiskies that have initially been sourced from Great Northern Distillery while the company awaits the building of their very own distillery in Belfast. Coming in around the 35 euro mark, which is quite good value for a five-year-old whiskey. This is matured in hand-picked ex-bourbon barrels, bottled at 42% ABV. There is no E in the whiskey and the spelling of it here, uh, which is kind of a nod to the old days of whiskey production in Ireland. Really easy sipper, easy on the palate, easy on the wallet. If you like kind of creamy, citrusy, florally, fruity, smoky type flavors, then this really is kind of right up your alley. I did review this on the channel a while back when uh, the channel was in its infancy, and I will leave a link down below to that where uh, there's some nice history. You can check out that video if you like. Whiskey number three, Velvet Cap Irish Whiskey from Blackwater Distillery. One of my go-to blends, I'll be honest. This whiskey is a blend of malt and grain that has been sourced from other distilleries. Now, 
It has been aged in a combination of ex-bourbon, port, and stouted rye casks. The first and only triple blends on the list. 40% ABV, blended Irish whiskey, and priced at roughly 40 euros. A little bit youthful here, but lovely strawberry, creamy sweetness. Malty notes coming through, uh, notes of banana. Really interesting dram at what I would consider a somewhat decent price point. No frills, straight in quality. This was one of the first whiskeys I reviewed on the channel when it started. I'll leave a link below so you can check it out for yourself. I think it was a small batch release, but I'm nearly certain that it's made it uh, out of Ireland. Well, I hope there is. Um, there's also a stronger 46%, I believe it is, travel retail version available in Dublin and Cork airports too. I'm not sure on the pricing, but um, if you'd like to know more about the other one, this one, you can check out the link below of the video I did. The fourth whiskey and first of the pot stills on my list is one of my all time favorite rockin' pot stills from Powers Irish Whiskey. This is the Three Swallows Irish Whiskey, a smashing pot still that can be bought for around 33 euro in super value from time to time. I always, always see them on sale. Uh, I think the general price point when they're not on sale is around the 44, 45 euro mark. This is a revival of the old style of powers once made at the old distillery off of Thomas Street in Dublin. It is a non-age statement um, release, which has been aged in ex-bourbon barrels with a small amount of Oloroso sherry casks. A 40% ABV pot still Irish whiskey, mostly bourbon barrels, it's finished in. Powers Three Swallows release is the 21st century, not of the cap to traditional pure pot still whiskey style, which made powers famous around the world. It's fruity, it's woody, it, there's dried fruits in here, there's a bit of banana notes, honey notes, um, all around smasher for the price. I should also mention that this is the old style bottling. There is a new style bottling out, which for 2020, I think it was, was released. I'll leave a link or a video, a picture of it on the screen so you can see what it looks like, but this is the old one, blue label. Rounding out the top of the list at the fifth spot is of course, the Redbreast 12 year old pot still Irish whiskey. A 100% heavy pot still whiskey with a high Oloroso sherry cask aging with some ex bourbon barrels used too. I have to say it is a real favorite amongst whiskey drinkers around the world. Reviewed this one a while back on the channel, link below. Now this fluctuates a little bit, but you can get this for around 60 to 65 euros, which is incredible considering its popularity. Non-chill filtered, 40% ABV, Oloroso sherry goodness, there isn't a whole lot to say about this except, wow, a smash and drop. It's hard to find someone who doesn't really like this, to be honest. It has notes of dried fruits, roasted nuts, there's spices, it's oily, there's toffee and dark chocolate coming forward. A winter warmer or a summer supper. Not much more to say about it, only check out my video I did on it a while back. The link is also below. Now, before you log off the video and I sign out here, there are a few honorable mentions that I didn't put into the video because of one reason or another, but they do deserve a mention. And if they can be found, they need to be snapped up immediately and drank. They probably weren't put into the video because they are hard to find, or I have one or two similarities in the list. Anyway, let's do it. Before I give you my honorable mentions, make absolutely certain that you're subscribed to the channel. And if you like the video, do give us a thumbs up and be sure to share. And also, I've been to Distilleries of Ireland calendar 2022 on sale with some of the most wonderful locations that are sending it linked below. Some of the proceeds of this are also going to charity. First up on the honorable mentions list, a Bushmills 10 year old. Should be in the list, but the Black Bush definitely bet it outright. 40 euros for this 10 year old single malt. Great price, great whiskey, 40% ABV, and just an amazing single malt. Next up, a wonderful drinking whiskey from the folks at Tullamore Dew. This is the Tullamore Dew XO, a 43% ABV blended Irish whiskey, which utilizes hand selected casks of Caribbean Demerara rum that have been used to finish the original Tullamore Dew. So basically this is a Tullamore Dew original, but finished in rum casks and about 48 euros. This is my all time favorite whiskey, Powers John's Lane. That's what we have here. Now this is the old bottling. There is a new bottling. I'll leave a picture on the screen for you. It's a higher ABV alternative to Redbreast 12. 46 ABV, not a sherry forward, but a whiskey man's whiskey. Tremendous flavors, tremendous price. 
of about 65 euro. Pot still Irish whiskey aged for 12 years. And genuinely one of my all time favorite go-to really damn good Irish whiskeys. Green spot. I mean, you don't need to say much more really. It's been around since forever, still around. Although obviously today is a slightly different makeup than the old school one, but 40% ABV pot still Irish whiskey aged between seven and 10 years are used in this. Quintessentially Irish, end of, that's it. About 65 euro. Used to be a lot cheaper, much cheaper, but you know, still under the 70 quid mark. Still not too bad. Good value, good drinker. The new kid on the block. Old Comber pot still from the Ecklinville Distillery in County Down. This is a, like a 60 quid, 46% ABV pot still Irish whiskey. There's non-age statement in here, but there are ruby port casks used to finish it, and I believe bourbon as well. I reviewed this on the channel not so long ago, and I loved this. I thought it was in around the 50 to 55 euro mark, but I think I was more off. I think it was 60 euro mark. This is a new kit on the block. It's only been released this year. Incredibly difficult to find. Um, I know they're, they're all sold out relatively quickly, but if you can get a dram and find it in a pub and try it, there are, they're definitely in pubs around the country. I've seen them. I'm not so much sure about stockage shelves yet. An incredible pot still whiskey for 60 quid. Should be on everyone's shelf. If you're going to splurge and really treat and enjoy yourself, you know, you have all those notes from sherry or uh, ruby port, woody, nutty, sweetness, berries, and you know, your pot still spices. Kick ass dram for 60 quid. Last, but certainly not least, the Cologne Rum and Raisin five year old single malt Irish whiskey. It is a small batch, it is hard to find. It is an absolutely gorgeous whiskey and it will kick your ass. The ABV here is, uh, it depends on batches. This is batch one, 55% ABV by volume, right? 65 euro roughly. And uh, anyone who knows Cologne, it's, they, they, they love it. It has a cult following. It is the smallest distillery in Ireland, but a huge following. Always great stuff for release from them. And this is absolutely exceptional. Tastes way older than it is and deserves every bit of the last spot in the honorable mention. So that's it. There you have it. My top five Irish whiskeys at the back here. They should be at the front. That's me not planning it out. Under 70 euros or $80 with some serious honorable mentions thrown in for good measure. Tis the season for giving and you are welcome. I am keeping this video short and sweet today. There's no point in dragging it on. There they are. Those are the value whiskeys that you can buy for your loved one or yourself this Christmas. Don't forget to subscribe and like, follow, etc. Make sure you check out Christie's Bar here too. I'll leave a link to their socials down below. Um, if you're passing by and you haven't had any of these drams and you're not driving, come in, try some of them. They're all here for everyone to try. Uh, give me a shout. I might be around. I'm always around. Be sure to keep an eye out on the channel. Next time I'm going to do some absolutely crazy expensive whiskeys that you have to try for Christmas. That's all for me today. Wishing you all a very happy and safe Christmas. Remember, keep it Irish. Slaunch it.